Hey guys, in this video, we are going to edit this image. We are going to recover blown out colors. We are going to give it a beautiful skin tone and pop all the necessary colors so that we get this beautiful color grading effect. Since this image is a JPEG, normally it's supposed to be difficult, but if you watch this video all the way to the end, you are going to learn new Photoshop tips and tricks. We know for the ado, let's get started. So we are going to delete the final result and this is all we get. If you zoom all the way to the face of this model, you can see there are sweat spots on her face. So we are going to use the spot healing brush to remove those sweat spots. And any acne or pimples on her face, we are going to remove them as easy as this. Next, to retouch the image, we are going to use the Auto face effects action. So while on the auto face effect action, if you play the action, you are going to get this result. So you can see before applying the auto face effects action, you can see after applying it, it just add this smoothening to the skin. You see the before and you see the after. And if you check the arms, you can see the before and the after. You just add this natural smoothening to the skin. So that the skin now looks retouched just with the one click auto face effects action you can apply more than once like i'm doing right now in this video so if you apply it again you can see let's take a look at the before and the after you can see here was the before and here is the after it's going to smooth your skin and retain the texture you can see here was the before Look at all those hairs on our skin. Um, here is the after. Everything is now smooth with only the textures being retained. So it's an amazing one-click action you can use. To get it, check the link in the description. It's just $1. You can get it to support the channel with just $1. And your retouching is going to be very fast and super easy. So check the link in the description to get the auto face FS action so that you can now retouch your images very, very fast. So we are going to duplicate the background layer. I'm going to rename this camera raw. And on the camera raw layer, we're going to come to filter. We're now going to come to camera raw. Right now in the camera raw, first thing we are going to do, we are going to recover the details in the sky. How to do that, you come to the maxing section of the camera roll this is the edit section and this is the maxing section so you click on the maxing section you can see create new max and now we are going to create a sky max so you click on it and it's going to select the sky you can see this red overlay is where it has been selected now you can make adjustment to only these areas so to recover the details in the sky first of all we are going to take down the temperature so i bring back the blues in the sky I also adjust the tint to change the color of the blue to cyan or deep blue. So just like this. Now we are going to increase the saturation of this blue right like this. We are now going to add contrast to the sky. As easy as this so that we can have a separation between the highlight and the shadow. We are now going to take down the highlights and the shadow. And we are going to take down the highlights. We are also going to take down the whites. We are going to increase the blacks like this. So you can see here was the before, a blown out sky, and here's the after. I brought back the blues in the sky. Now we're going to come back to the edit section. And now I'm going to increase the temperature. By increasing the temperature, you can see the skin tone is now looking more beautiful. I'm bringing back the orange in the skin tone as easy as that. So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to increase the exposure a little bit, add contrast, and now we are going to add blacks like this by moving it to the left. The shadow, we are going to bring up details in the shadow by increasing the value of the slider by moving it like this. We are going to increase the exposure of the shadow by reducing it, we are going to decrease the exposure of the shadow. So we are going to increase it a little bit like this, just plus 10. And now we are going to remove the highlights. We are going to bring more details into the highlights. 
as easy as this. Now, if you want to increase the saturation of an image, use the vibrance. You see, by increasing the saturation of vibrance, it's not over saturating the image. Because if you increase the saturation, the overall saturation, you see that they destroy the skin tone. But if you increase just the vibrance, it preserves the skin tone. So use the vibrance. You can increase the vibrance like this, and now even desaturate it a little bit, desaturate the image a little bit. So the next thing we are going to do, we are now going to come to the calibration. In the calibration, we are going to come to the saturation of the blue. I'm going to increase the saturation of the blue a little bit. We now come to the color mixer. In the color mixer, we are going to saturate the reds and the oranges to pop the skin tone. Now we are going to come to the hue of the blue. We are going to adjust the hue to our taste. Yes, we are going to use any hue that complements the skin tone. So, and you can also saturate it or desaturate it in one that works best for your own image. But this, I'm going to desaturate it a little bit because we have saturated it from the sky selection section. So we are coming to luminance, we can desaturate or we can increase. But this will leave the value at zero. I'm going to increase the luminance of the orange a little bit so that we can pop the skin. Now you can see the before and the after. We're actually heading to the right direction. So now we are going to come back into Photoshop. So here in Photoshop, we are going to continue our color grading. In Photoshop, the first thing we are going to do, we are going to create a selective color adjustment. Now in the selective color adjustment, I can come to the reds and we can add more reds to the cyan. And now we are going to remove magenta from the reds. I'm going to come to our yellow because the skin tone contains both the yellow and the reds. So if you come to the yellow, you are still targeting the skin tone. So we are still going to add reds to the yellow by removing the cyan like this. And we can add a little bit of magenta to the yellow to make the yellow look more orange, just like this. Now, in order to bring focus to the subject, we are going to come take our elliptical marking tool, make a rough selection like this, as it. and now we are going to create a curves adjustment. Now we are going to reduce the mid tone of the curves. We are going to take up the shadow a little bit to create this faded effect. We are going to invert the selection. We are going to change the blend mode to luminance. Now why on this we are going to fader to remove the edge. To fader the edge, we are going to increase the fader value. So before and after, we are going to reduce the opacity. Now if you look at the image, if you see the before, if you see the after, you can see there's this spotlight on the face of the model. So that it brings direct focus to the model. Now we are going to create another selective color. We are going to target the blacks. In the blacks, we are going to add blue to the blacks by reducing the yellow. See, this is adding blue to the black. We don't overdo it. Just a little bit like this. Add some blues to the black. And now we are going to add a little bit of cyan. I'm going to remove magenta so that the black doesn't look purplish. So that it looks like this. Now you can fill out the black or you can increase the black by moving the slider. Now we are just going to leave this value at zero. Right now, let's leave the value at zero. See the before and the after. Now let's see the general before and after to see how, how far we've gone. Look at the image. Here was the before. And here is the after. Don't forget how we got to this smooth skin. We use the auto fix FS action so you can get to the auto fix FS action. It's a one click retouching action. Link is in the description and it's just one dollar. So finally, what you can still do to this image to make it look more beautiful, you can add your lot. So you create a color lookup, and you can load the full lookup lot in Photoshop. If you don't have any lots on your system, you can load the full lookup lot. But if you check the link in the description, you can still see I have free lots on my website that you can download and use. I have several lots on my website, free lots that you can load on your image. So, adding lot is going to give your image its own style. So, you can add lot. You can also desaturate the reds. You can go on to max the skin. 
because you see the color of the dress and the color of the skin is almost similar so to make a final adjustment to the skin we are going to max the skin so you create a black layer max now if you click on the four slash key on your keyboard you are going to see this red overlay it means the whole image is maxed so if you take your brush make sure foreground is white and you paint on the skin like this you are going to review this effect only on the skin very roughly because the target is the red so it's going to target only the red the adjustment i'm going to make is only to the red so even if the selection is rough like this it's not going to affect areas that are not in red so we avoid the glute and we just target the skin so that we can now desaturate the red in the skin like this and now we can now change the hue a little bit like this plus two see the before and after is subtle but this a way of improving the skin tone you can also change the color of the dress only by creating another hue saturation now you hold out click on this layer max and drag it to the layer max above to replace it with the layer max above that is you are going to copy this layer max by holding out right click left clicking and dragging to the new layer that you want to copy it to now press ctrl i or command i to invert this selection so you see now the skin is really pleased it's not selected so if you now target the glute you can increase the saturation of the glute this is affecting this area so we can max this out also manually taking our brush make sure foreground is black and then you bend on this area to remove the effect of this adjustment layer you paint on this area like this so now we are going to target only the dress so that we can increase the saturation of the dress so you can see we've popped the color of the dress you can also go on to liquefy this i'm not going to do that for this image if you need a tutorial on liquefy let me know in the comments you can see how far we've gone with the editing we went from this or the sky blown out almost part of the image is saturated to this and don't forget this editing was done on a jpeg i'm purposely doing this editing on a jpeg so that you guys can see that even a jpeg can be transformed to a very beautiful color graded image so if you've learned any new thing from this video please smash the like button leave a fire emoji in the comment section wrap your country in the comment section also you can share this to your friends that might need it and don't forget how we got this flawless looking skin that, that looks very natural in touch we use the auto fix fs action so you check the link in the description to get to that action right now and this is a creative process you have the freedom to to do what you want on your image you watch tutorials like this to to learn new techniques that you are going to infuse into your own workflow so that you improve and grow happy to be part of a creative journey see you in another amazing tutorial